Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So I look crazy right now. But we have got our whole boxy charm to go over. So we are going to go through this item by item, do a full face. So this will probably be a long video. And I'm recording it this morning and uploading it this afternoon. So we're going to do this as quick as we can. But it will be a full face so it's going to take forever because I gotta go see my mommy. <laughs> so okay, anyways, cue the intro. Okay guys, so thing number one, we've got our card in here boxy bash i think this was their birthday month so that is why we've got that in there and product number one we have to try is this cover fx blurring primer this retails for 38 dollars which sounds absolutely ridiculous to me for a primer but y'all know i'm just kind of cheap and i have my favorite primer and i only buy it when it's on sale so that's just me but I'm going to go ahead and take some of this, put it on my face, and use my favorite high-end foundation, my Double Wear, just to give it a fair test and see how well it works because I know that that foundation is incredible. So we'll just see what the primer does to it. Okay, so this is first impression. Looks a lot like the Benefit Professional. It just doesn't have as big of a little hole that it comes out of. But we're going to go ahead and just apply it in the T-zone, which is mostly where I put my primer anyways. Put a little extra on my forehead because it's been crazy. And, I mean, it feels a lot like the professional. Not exactly, but pretty close. But yeah, that definitely feels good. So I'm going to hop off here, put on some foundation. And see how it looks when we're finished all right so that definitely looks like it filled in the pores looks like a good primer I even used like a kind of sketchy new brush but it still laid down really good on top of it this is just one of those things I'll have to see throughout the day how I actually feel about it but so far so good no big issues so the next thing we have got is this pure sculptor palette right here you open it up you get two contours two highlights something for people that are fair like me and then something for people with deeper skin tones as well <clears throat> and with it we also got an Aesthetica P12 brush so it's just a big face brush I'm going to attempt to use this to contour so this retails for 30 and this brush retails for 27 I expect some magical contour on my face today because that is ridiculous for a brush so we are going to take this P12 and dip into an adventure that is our lighter contour shade and just go in and kind of bronze up and shape the face a little and see how this brush performs. Okay guys, so that contour is done. And I, I don't like this brush for contour. Maybe this is just more of a powder brush, but it is not intended for contour. So I don't know exactly what to use it for on the package. It just said face brush, and it didn't say what to use it for, but this contour did not blend out anywhere near enough. It is way worse on camera than it is in person, but yeah, that didn't do what I wanted. So I'm going to take a little bit of blush that I got, I think, in last month's box, maybe the month before, I don't know, and just put that right over this contour, and, you know, that's all we got to do. And then I'm going to take this uh, Controlled Setting Eco Tools brush that I think is supposed to be good for highlight, and I'm going to go into Originator, that is the lighter highlight in this palette. <clears throat> And go ahead and highlight my high points of my face. Okay, 
Okay, so that highlight is not like super impressive, but I mean, it's not bad either. So I can take it. This palette is not too terrible. We're going to use it again in a minute. But for right now, we are going to go in and we got this three set of brushes here that retail for $45. And the first one we are going to use is this one. And I'm going to use it with my ABH Brow Pomade just to do my eyebrows. And I'm probably going to edit most of this out, but y'all will be able to see how the eyebrows look at the end. So that's what we are doing first. Okay, so that brush didn't work for brows. I had to switch to this random thinner brush I got on Amazon because this is just too thick to do your brows with. I don't know why they even put that on the package. Doesn't work. Sorry. Finished with that. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is use this palette to just do some really simple eyeshadow. I just want to take some contour in the crease and on the lower lash line and then a highlight on the lid and in the inner corner and that's all we're going to do just to see kind of how this blends. So I'm just going to take the lighter contour shade, set that in the crease. Nothing too fancy. I think I may have still had some color on this brush, sorry guys. But I'm just going to take that in here. See if we can get it to blend out kind of decent because doubling your contour and highlight as eyeshadow is a wonderful trick not only to tie everything together but also if you don't want to take a whole lot of makeup with you when you travel but you still want to look cute being able to use one palette for two things is always an upside so we're going to take the darker contour and put that in the outer corner just fluffing it in there I'm not using too dense of a brush because I don't want this to be crazy I'm just using a regular synthetic blending brush instead of my usual natural hair ones that pick up so much pigment so I'm just popping that in here trying to get it to blend which it is not the best but it's not too bad. We're going to take the darker highlight shade right here and go ahead and pop that all over the lid. And then I'm going to go ahead and mix these two shades together and just fluff that in the lower lash line a little bit just to tie it together a tiny bit. And then on the M321, my favorite little bullet brush, we're going to take the lighter highlight shade and just pop that in the inner corner to give us that little shine and it will match our highlighter and we're going to take a tiny bit and just barely trace that brow bone with it right here and voila you have a super simple eyeshadow look that matches the rest of your makeup blend it out pretty decent I'll take that and yeah so we're going to add some drama with this next product. This I was excited about. We got the Pretty Vulgar Gel Eyeliner in black. And I was just so excited about this because the packaging on Pretty Vulgar is so stinking cute. I don't even care if it works sometimes. Like these are pieces that I would literally get just to sit on my vanity and stare at them. They are so pretty. But we are going to see if they work. And as I promised my friends in Boxy Babes, I am going to go ahead and do a little tutorial on how to do this real quick. So we have this little brush that we got in our box. This was in that $45 set. And we are just going to dip straight into here and put on the eyeliner. Okay, so when you do this eyeliner, you just dip this down into here 
and it is kind of hard to see how much you're getting just because the inside of that is black so you can't see it very well but you just take it on this little brush and drag it across your lash line like so and it is definitely very black it's not too hard to do so far so good but if you want to do a wing now I suck at wings that's why I use a wing stamp if you watch my channel you know that but for a wing you just take it and you draw a line through here and then a line down and you just fill it in Okay, and my wing looks like crap, but we already knew that was going to happen. I am terrible at winged liner, but that is how you do it. I did get a half decent wing. It's just not nearly as sharp as I want it to be, but that is definitely on me, not on the brush or the product, because this is a very good eyeliner. I'm just a cheater and I need a wing stamp. It just makes my life easier. But I definitely really like this liner. So let me do this other eye real quick. Okay guys, so we attempted some false lashes, but we uh yeah we ain't doing that today. So we're just gonna move on to our last item. The last thing we have is from Han Skincare, and this is a lip gloss, it is $15 retail in the shade nude rose and we're just going to put this on with nothing underneath it okay so that's definitely pretty uh, gets all over my teeth but it's a lip gloss so we don't expect too much but it's pretty it smells like sugar cookies and it's not just like ridiculously sticky like I could handle this all day it wouldn't bother me of course I'll have to reapply so this is going with me today but like I said it's a lip gloss what else do you expect right so that is all the products in this box overall I was really excited about it this is my favorite I probably won't even use it because I'm addicted to my wing stamp but this is gonna go front and center on my vanity just to show it off um, I definitely like the highlights in here and the primer looks to be good we will have to see how well my makeup wears but so far so good so yeah that is it for this video let me know what you got in your box down in the comments and I'll see you in a couple of days bye you guys